846 now as we resolve to make ourselves better in the new year and we're we're resolving to do that many of us are hoping to take care of money matters that have been lingering for years who better than our pal skip johnson to share some of the top financial resolutions to consider for 2017. nice to see you skip yeah great to be here yeah happy new year did you happy. have a good holiday season with the family i i did we had fun we relaxed yeah played a little bit it was great just got back from the dells with the kids you know the little kiddos loved it i remember yeah. those days well yes i do well let's talk about this uh the first thing we need to suggest when we're building a budget and i guess the first one is let's start there let's build a budget right so the top financial or the top resolutions are losing weight and mm -hmm. and losing debt or getting your finances under control so i think it starts with having a plan that you can stick to right and the budget is simply telling your money where to go mm -hmm. so you don't wonder where it went i think a lot of people do a budget where they just kind of go well i think i spend about x amount we'd rather you build it on purpose and say this is what i'm going to spend so that it's more purposeful and should you sit down with your so and just kind of map it out on a, you know eight by ten that type of thing or you know on, we've, on got a, we've got a we've got a fantastic budgeting form that somebody could get at our website at okay. greatwatersfinancial.com the other thing we believe so much in this being the core of a financial plan that we're hosting an event uh january 19th with an author and radio host who's talking about you know we hate to call it budgeting but but budgeting the new year a spending uh -huh. plan for the next year it's important and when is that going to be happening? Uh, January 19th in okay. St. Anthony. It's actually going to be great. All right. We'll do your website at the end in case people sure. want to go to that. Uh, next up, we have a set your savings on autopilot. So that seems to make sense to me. Right? Yeah. May maybe the viewers are more disciplined than me, but I know for a fact if Amy and I had not set our 401ks to be maxed out on autopilot the last several years, I would have spent the money. Sure. Because I like nice stuff. If it's out of sight, it's out of mind. Out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. I learned to live on what's left. And I, and I know that personal finance is more behavior, not head knowledge. So let's get you on autopilot making good decisions. I like that. Uh, and number three on the list is to reduce your debt. And that could be tough, but you have to take the sharp pencil to it, right? Right. I think as a financial advisor, sometimes people are asking me, what's the next best investment? Sometimes it's paying off the credit card. Yeah. 12, 18, 20% can be the best investment I know of. And I know about most of them. Right. So let's uh, list those smallest to largest and start to attack it. Right. Uh, and next up, we have a uh, comprehensive view. So what do you mean by that? You're talking, obviously, about looking at everything when it comes to your budget. Yeah, it's, it's a new year. And this goes into our, our last point, too, of an estate plan. So it's a new year. Let's look at everything. Check your beneficiaries. Check the investments you have. The market's near all-time highs. Make sure you know how much risk you're taking for mm -hmm. the time horizon that you've got. Just take a complete look. This is where a professional can really help you take a fresh look at your finances to help 2017 be the best year financially ever. Right. And then finally on the list, we've got a little more time we can do this one. It's draft and estate plan. And that sounds, for a lot of us who are not crazy about this kind of thing to begin with, sounds a little lofty. How can we do that? Yeah. So, you know, an estate plan is a fancy word for a will or a trust mm -hmm. or powers of attorney. You know, they're the documents that whether we want to believe it or not, at some point, we are the, the, the mortality rate's about 100%. Right. Right? So you need a plan for when you're gone, especially if you have young kids. You need that in place now. Um, I can't draft one, but there's a lot of great attorneys that are out there. Sure. You need a plan. Get it done. Get it done right. Make sure that if you're gone, it's a one of the best gifts you can leave to your family. To look at uh, Prince. It didn't leave behind a will. So there you go. Case in point yeah. and not oh. that old. And it's quite a mess when you have probate and yeah. the publicity that comes with that. And, so. and it's your money. You want it to remain in the family and not let the state you get know, a hold of something. Right. I always tell people, my clients want their money to go to where they want it mm -hmm. to go to typically as quickly, smoothly, and no fighting as possible. That's right. Where you want to go, I don't care. Let's have it go where you want Lay it, it all out. Yeah. I like it. All right, Skip, some great ideas for getting that financial plan ready for 2017 in a good budgeting kind of way. Thanks yep. so much for being here. You bet. It's always great to be here and help. And if people want to know more about your event on the 19th, they can go to greatwatersfinancial.com Greatwaters. for that budgeting form or uh, info about that event. Excellent. All right, Skip, thanks so much. You we'll bet. see you next time. Absolutely.